So for NaOCH3, um, all I did was write the valence electrons, so 1 and then oxygen will be 6, carbon's 4, hydrogen's 1, but there's 3 of them, so 1 times 3. All of that will equal 14. The other thing you have to realize is that Na is a metal, therefore you will actually have a plus charge on the Na and then a minus charge on the rest. So why does what does that do? Well, since Na has a plus charge, this will be a ionic bond, and therefore there won't you won't actually share electrons between these two. The attraction will be because of the positive negative. So you'll have Na with a plus charge, and then OCH3 minus. What do you do? Well, you have O, right? And then you bond it to C, and then you bond the H's to the C, right? So you bond it to the left. So the H's will go next to the C, and then we'll let's calculate the formal charge of each of these, or show why it is. So for Na+, plus, um, why is it plus? Well, Na is a group 1 element, right? So it'll be 1. And then, and then uh, we count how many bonds or lone pairs. Well, it doesn't have any bonds or lone pairs, so it'll be 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. Next, for formal charge for oxygen, um, oxygen is a group 6 element, right? So we'll put a 6, and then count the bonds and lone pairs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'll put 7, 6 minus 7 is negative 1, and there we go. So we have a negative charge on oxygen. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.